What's going on YouTube? It's Mr. Best Kept Secret and I'm coming at you with the newest episode of our Madden 25 Owner Mode series. Unfortunately, there was one part of the recording that did get um, cut off, but you will shortly see right after we get through some of the breaking news. And somehow us cutting our third string safety made the breaking news. But here you go guys, here's the exciting news. I um, mean, as you can see, it's a start relocation. We have decided to relocate the St. Louis Rams. And I know that's exciting. As you see our options, one of them is Los Angeles, another guy's another one is London, England. I was really considering moving to Toronto, Canada, but their uh, their fair weather fan base doesn't really uh, fly with me. I want a really hardcore fan base, and I want a huge market size. So really, that was um, as you see all the other options here. I just wanted to flip through so that you guys would see them all. Um, and one of the ones that I thought would be really cool would be um, Brooklyn so you could bring back the Brooklyn Dodgers and uh, another one I thought would be kind of cool would be London, England but my favorite is Mexico City, Mexico or sorry, yeah, Mexico City sorry about that um, yeah, so instantly as soon as we decide that we want to relocate we get this media question and I'll just let that play through for you guys and honestly I have no clue which answer to choose with this one. I don't want to say that's good business only because that's not really how I feel and that's not really how I would uh, answer this question. I would answer it with a lot more um, honesty um, and because we're not really, e it's not really a huge uh, free agent destination, St. Louis, I feel like this second answer would be a good answer, but I don't know about saying it that we can get a new generation of fans, so I'm going to go with the second answer right here. And, uh, Hopefully you guys are liking this Madden 25 Owner Mode series. If you guys do, click that like button button down below. And uh, also, while you're there, comment. Give me a, shoot me a comment. I try to respond to all of them. As you see, we advance the week to preseason week number four, which is the last week of the preseason. And um, I'm not 100% sure who I'm actually going to cut because I know there's some guys who, uh, who are probably in the free agent market who I would like to sign. And... Uh, I'm probably I'm probably gonna sign a couple of them, but first, or um, one of them, one of the things we have to do uh, to this episode is choose our team name. But first of all, we're gonna look at the roster one more time. We do have three quarterbacks. I was debating cutting Kellen Clemens just based on his age, but we need three quarterbacks. That's just the way that I feel. And I'm starting to uh, I'm starting to think about releasing one of our right guards as uh, it comes up here. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about releasing one of them. Maybe Chris Williams, maybe Brandon Washington. I'm not 100% sure. Only because we have th we have 11 offensive linemen. You don't really need that many offensive linemen, especially because um, you you already have one as a backup at each position. So I think we could one of them would be expendable. And uh, so the one guy I think we're going to cut is uh, free safety Rodney McLeod who is from Virginia, and he's a second-year man. And because we signed Robert Sands, they're the same age. Robert Sands is a lot better talent-wise. Talent and, yeah, those are all the players. That's the only player we're going to cut because we cut so many players last episode. And we're going to choose our team name right now. And I'm already going to tell you guys I am picking the team name in this episode. It's not going to be the Rams. So we have the Diablos, the Conquistadors, and the Golden Eagles. I was really torn between the Golden Eagles and the Diablos when I was filming this, but I figured the Diablos sounds like a cooler name, probably a cooler color scheme with the red and black. Looks would probably look really sleek and slender and would look really cool. As you can see, the fans voted in the online poll, and the Diablos came out on top. And... Uh, I was debating on picking up a couple free agents here. As I see defensive tackle Linval Joseph, I want to pick him up because I, uh, in my offline Madden 25 owner mode that I just played for fun, he develops into an absolute beast. So I'm definitely going to try and pick him up. And uh, yeah. So also guys, let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see from the Mexico City Diablos. I think uh, I think that's a really cool name, and uh, Quentin Patton, as you can see in the video, is a is an injury. I really liked it. I really liked his skill set coming out of uh, Louisiana Tech. I played uh, I played a lot in NCAA, and he was he was one of my favorite receivers in the game. As you see, uh, we're just gonna be checking out the free agents here, just to see if anyone got cut that's better than Thad Lewis. And as you can see, uh, No Sean Moreno did get cut, but also uh, Kendall Hunter got cut, and that was a really big oversight on my part because uh, he would have really solved a lot of the running back problems that we had because he is only 24 years old, but he is 78 overall, so he could develop into possibly a full three down back, just like he was trying, he was uh, on pace to do with San Francisco. 
And there's a bunch of uh, wide receivers here just scrolling down. I was just looking just to see. And I stumbled upon Tommy Streeter, a second-year man out of Miami who is foot five but has some blazing speed. So you know what? We're going to pick him up, throw him on the team. What's the worst thing that could happen, right? And so that means we actually have to cut one player. But I forgot that we also had to progress our players, obviously. And I also forgot that there was another guy in free agency who I wanted to pick up. And we're just going to be fiddling and farting around with the roster here. But there's one guy who I wanted to pick up who I forgot. But I go back and pick him up later in this video, as you guys can see. And I try to release Mason Brodeen, but we are not able to because he is injured, which I forgot. But I mentioned it in the last video, we're not able to release him. And, uh... Yeah, so definitely uh, let me know what you guys want to see from this Madden 25 franchise in the comment section down below. I will be uploading more of it as uh, as the new year comes because I do have a lot of it already uh, recorded. But just let me know what you guys think about it so far. It's greatly appreciated. I was debating on picking up Quentin Carter. He would be an awesome pickup for us. but and, and so would Kendall Hunter. But one guy who I was looking to pick up is a defensive tackle, Linville Joseph, Joseph, who was cut from the New York Giants. And as you see there, we're just uh, we're just looking for young guys who have a lot of potential. But we are we don't need a kicker because we already have Greg the Leg Zerline. And I think that this team has a lot of potential so far. Not necessarily for this year. I was thinking more for next year because uh, we have a lot of guys. If they get a lot of playing time, they could develop into some pretty talented players. So definitely let me know, guys, what you think about the series so far, like I already said earlier in the video. As you can see, we're going into our roster screen here just to check out um, who we're going to cut because since we signed Linval Joseph, we do not need uh, either Matthew Conrath or uh, Jermel Cujo. And I was really thinking about cutting Cujo until I realized that there's a cap penalty of $400,000 that we'd have to pay if we released it. So that made Conrath the easy person to release. He is six foot seven. He looks like he could be an absolute beast, but unfortunately his, uh, his overall just didn't speak to me. So we're just looking. Um, I, I do believe in keeping three middle linebackers. You never know. Injuries do occur. And middle linebackers, I feel like, are a lot more versatile to uh, change their position. And as I, as I said, I was going to think about uh, cutting an offensive lineman, and we did. Chris Williams, a 28-year-old, which freed up $1.3 million in cap space for us, which is really good. And, uh, yeah, guys, so we also, uh, there's Tommy Streeter, our new wide receiver pickup. And so we're just going to go back to the main screen. So what do you guys think about the St. Louis Rams moving to Mexico City? What do you think about the new name, the Diablos? Let me know in the comment section down below. And while you're there, you know crush that like button for me if you don't mind guys so you know this has been mr best kept secret and i am signing off and i will see you guys in the next video peace out youtube and have an awesome awesome day